hello guys welcome to DTW tutorials welcome okay so in today's video I'm going to be solving uh, about three white past questions on bearing okay and uh, please I've done um, two videos uh, which is prerequisite to this to the bearing video it's um, the sine rule and cosine rule I've explained it and also uh, solved like two white pass question for the sine rule also the cosine rule I've also explained and solved two white pass questions on it so um, the videos are on the channel is quite recent so if you just check on the upload uh, page you see it but nevertheless i'll leave the link in the video description box of this video please please do watch those videos because they're going to help you out in understanding what i'll be doing here okay so um through this um the bearing question we're going to be drawing out um the bearing of um you know interpreting the questions and drawing them out i'm going to teach you how to interpret when you have a knot um, to east and south to east we're also going to be doing so three past questions we are going to solve here which will involve sine rule and cosine rule please do watch those videos please very very key so you understand any i'm i'm, I'm telling you at the end of this video any bearing question you find in yek you would pass it you would get it correctly okay just be rest assured all right okay so um if it's your first time on this channel uh, okay please um you know dtw tutorials we're here to support you in your education that's what we are here for and uh, please do click the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends you know preparing for the forthcoming once exam please please do share this video this is very key in your maths okay please share this video and also the sign and cosine rule if bearing if a direct bearing question doesn't come out you will definitely see something related to solving something on your sine or cosine all right so please make sure you watch those three videos they are going to help you and also other videos on the channel uh why maths past questions solve the theory even english uh why english past questions solve it's also on the channel i'll leave the link to the playlist where you can get all those videos all right so please share this channel to uh, your friends family and loved ones even in school share it on your groups facebook group whatsapp group dtw tutorials you see a lot of videos that would help you in your forthcoming exams all right so uh let us now go to solving these questions all right so here we have here this is a question one a white pass question it says an aeroplane flies from a town x on a bearing of uh, that's 45 um, degrees north east okay now when you see um you have your end as your north and east all right and your the value the degree this is the compass bearing all right and um, i've done a, a, an introduction to bearing please i'm also going to leave the link it's a zoom class but it's very very vital you also watch that it's an introduction to bearing on your compass bearing and also your three digit bearing all right but this is your um uh, uh compass word bearing all right so now let's interpret this together so in bearing they will always in your uh, the theory section they will always ask you to draw the diagram so before you start drawing on your notebook you on your rough um, sh uh, sheet of paper please try to first of all interpret it before you go down to your main um, answer sheet and use your ruler and pencil to draw out okay to draw the diagram try to first interpret it so you have a clear diagram now let's do this together it says an aeroplane flies from a town x on a bearing of uh, 45 degrees north east okay so let's say from a town of s remember when we are using this is the compass bearing when we are using your compass bearing okay you always start your uh to uh your you always start the bearing on either your north this is the north south this is your west and this is your east in your compass bearing you you always take your bearing from either the north or the south all right and it's never the west or the east okay you always take it from the north or the south all right so it says here x on a an aeroplane flies from a town x okay on a bearing of 45 degrees north east so 45 degrees north east so we have something here like this from here to here okay so this is 45 degrees north east 
all right so let's write this down there down here so it means we have to take x x will be a bit downwards since well, the aeroplane would leave from X here. Uh, this is X. We leave not. Okay. So let's say we have this. Okay. So this is X. I mind my my line. Okay, it's not quite straight. Okay. So this is forty five degrees. All right. Not what east. Okay, to another town. Okay, see the aeroplane flies from a town. From this town, the aeroplane leaves. Okay, on a bearing of this 45 degrees northeast. To another town, why? Okay, let's say it stops here. All right. A distance of 200 kilometers. That's me from here to here. Let's just draw a cardinal point now. This and this. Okay, so from here to here, this is another town why so from here to here is what 200 what kilometer all right it says it then changes course and flies to another town z on a bearing of uh, 60 degrees southeast okay it changes the aeroplane changes course from y okay so in bearing follow the question as it goes Alright, so the aeroplane first of all flies from a town X on this bearing of 45 degrees northeast, okay, to a town Y, a distance of what 200 watt kilometers. So the aeroplane is here. It then changes course and flies to another town Z on a bearing of what 60 degrees southeast. So from here, from Y, it flies on a bearing of what 60 degrees southeast. So where is your south? Alright. This is our east and this is our west. All right. So from Y, it takes changes of course to another town Z on a bearing of 60 degrees southeast. So this is our south. So remember, this is what campus uh, campus bearing. So we start from our south. Okay, south is 60 degrees. So let's say from here to here is what 60 degree. Okay. So let's say it stops here. So here is what 60 watt degree. All right. Okay. If Z is directly east of X, calculate correct to three significant figures this. Okay. So it says if Z is directly east of what X. So it means Z will be here. This is Z. So here we have what are not our south, our west, and what are east. So he said, so full stop, right? Okay. So it further says, if Z is directly east of X, okay, if Z is directly east of X, so Z directly what east of what X. So this is X here. So directly east means from this particular angle, okay. So directly east, we're going to draw a straight line. All right, that would meet this west here. So Z is what directly means angle what is like just like let's just say angle 90. Okay, it means it's like um, it's taking it from the north. Uh, if you, if we are using compass bearing, that's like um, north um, 90 degrees northeast. Okay, of what Z of what X. That's uh, the bearing of Z from what X. Okay, so we take it directly from our east and we join this line here. All right. Okay. Now let's resolve these angles. So if we have this is 45 degrees, right? If we if this is 45 degrees, it means from here to here is also 45 degrees. All right, because this is a right angle triangle. All right, that's from this side to this side is 90. So if we have 45 here, here is also what 45. And if you have 45 degrees here, it means that the angle here, that's here is what 45 degrees remember what alternating angles all right and means that here also will be what 45 what degrees okay so uh you know this is south okay this is south that's what we wrote here so when you now have 45 degrees here you have 60 here so when we add up these two angles what are we going to have uh 45 plus 6 we can just leave this just leave this for a while all right but if this is 60 degree okay it means 
here is also what 60 degrees alternating what angles all right when you're resolving bearing two things uh you should take notice um you know when an angle alternates is what equal all right alternative angles are what the same are equal all right okay so uh if so if this is uh 60 degrees it means that from here to here will be what 30 degrees that's just 90 minus 60 which is what 30 because we're looking at this angle here all right so it means if this is 30 here will be what 30 degrees that's same what alternating angle so we've resolved all our angles here so we have 30 degrees here we have 45 degrees here and this is a uh, 45 degree plus um, 60 degrees that will give us 105 degree all right so we resolved all our what angles all right, so this is 200 kilometer. Now it says calculate correct to three significant figures. Okay, I also said this. Please learn how to approximate to um, significant figures, like if three significant figures or two significant figures or one DP, that's decimal uh, place or two DP. Okay, all right, so calculate now the distance, uh, the distance from X to Z. So calculate this distance. From x to what z? This is what we're told to look look for. So here now, so which of the rules do we apply? Sine or cosine? Okay, here we can apply what sine because we have all the angles here and we have what uh, a side. All right. So here, you know, if cosine, you need to have at least two sides. But this is just one side. You just have one side and you have all the angles. So we can apply what? Uh, sign rule. So if this is your capital letter Z, this is the angle. So this side here is your small letter Z. Okay. This is a capital letter X. This side here is your uh, um, side X. Okay. So this we are not supposed to actually use X here. So if this is Y, capital letter Y, this side here is your what? Small letter what? Y. So where what and what can we remember our sign rule what's our sign rule this is um let me just use a a over sine a equal to what b over sine b equal to what c over sine c here this is x y z so you can liken this to what x over what sine x equal to y over what sine y equal to what z over sine your angle what z capital letter z so here since we have the angle z and we have a side a side z okay and we're told to look for our side y so we can use y over sine y equal to what z over sine z all right so here we have y over what sine capital letter y equal to what z over sine z so uh, making y the subject of formula bring this up all right you know you cross multiply but just take this up so here we have y is equal to what uh, sine y times z over sine z so y is equal to what is sine y y is what that's sine 105 times what is our z our z is uh, 200 kilometers okay divided by what is our sine z is what that's 30 that's sine 30. I know sine 30 is what 0.5. That's half. All right. So, but when you punch in um, all these values into your calculator, you're going to get what 386 kilometers. So, why this side is equal to what 386 what kilometer? All right. Now, um, question this the part B says the distance from y to xz. The distance from y. This is y here to xz so what does this mean see look at this now this is the distance from y to xz now it didn't say the distance from y to z that's y to z it said it's to xz so all you need to do is stress out this y here distance from y which is this point towards xz to meet what xz okay so this is distance from y to where xz is all right so this we're looking for this particular side here that's from here to here all right so let us just bring out this um, the, you can see it's giving us a triangle a right angle triangle so let's bring this out so what do we have here have this it's a right angle triangle 
where this is what 200 watt kilometer all right this we have what 45 watt degrees okay and this is also what 45 watt degrees so here we have a y we have a, a x that's capital letter x and but this is just a point on what x is so we have to look for this okay so let's say this is what x remember here we can just easily use what so car twice since this is a right angle triangle so it's quite easy for us to just use so car twice. so to get this x here and we have um we have a value here we have the length here so this would be our opposite and this would be our hypotenuse so we have what sine 45 is equal to what x over what 200 kilometer okay so where x will be equal to what 200 times what sine 45 okay what would this give us 200 times sine 45 will give us what 141.42 so from here we have to what approximate this since it says correct to three significant figures so it's a three significant figure this is the first number one two three will stop here then the next number immediately after um the third number is it greater than five or equal to five it's not it's lower than five so we can approximate so we say the answer that's our side this x this length is equal to what 141 what kilometer to what you say to three sf okay did i approximate this i think okay sorry um i just um wrote the um, the i have already approximated it okay but here um when you punch in your calculator this should give us what three eight six point three seven so from here you can see we can after this is two three we can figure we count our numbers one two three okay after three the next number is it up to five or greater than five it's not at all so you can't um break down a one to the six to add to the six that's why we are left with the answer as what 386 kilometers so you just stayed there for you just um in your notebook you say the distance from x to z is what 386 kilometer and the distance from y to xz is what 141 kilometer so these are answers all right so if you have a theory questions as i said earlier on try to, on your sketchbook try to draw um interpret um the bearing uh from your question then uh, when you're done with that then you can use your pencil and your ruler to draw the diagram in your notebook then you solve out all right in solving out state state out your values and state out your formula and you know every step don't miss every step takes a mark don't jump don't jump a step all right do it step by step to get your full mark and when you come to your answer don't forget to approximate well okay where you need to uh, put a degree please put a degree where you need to put a kilometer that's your unit of measurement please do put your unit of measurement all right so let's go on to the next question now question two from our bearing was past question that's your bearing y past question it says two boats a and b left a port c at the same time on different routes it says B traveled on a bearing of 150 degree. This is a three digit word bearing. Okay. So B traveled on a bearing of 150 degrees. So if you have your north and uh, your cardinal point, north, south, west, and east. Okay. Now, when you, uh, for your three digit bearing, you only start from the north and you go what? Clockwise. All right. For uh, your compass bearing, you only start from north or your south and you can from your north or south you can either go uh, west to the west or to the east okay all right but for your three digit bearing it's always from your north and it goes work clockwise all right it goes this way clockwise okay so here now it says b traveled on a bearing of what 150 degree so it means 150 will be from here to somewhere here okay so let's say b takes here all right so um uh so it means uh c c would be somewhere like maybe okay let's just still interpret so we know how this is how b went so let's try to find out how c would go if it's go north or it will come down here to the south okay and that's southwest so it, it now says a traveled on the north side of b 
So it says here, it, so if uh, B is here, somewhere here, okay, you can see the way I'm sketching it out now. It now says, okay, that's B is here, 150 degrees, and A traveled on the north side of B, okay, so north side, so this is B. A, this is, remember, this is C, the port C. So A traveled on the north side, so uh, not from here, so A is somewhere here. Okay, so now let's let's draw this here now. All right, so we have uh, let's put this down here. Okay, let's put this down here because we need to take this um, A needs to meet C at a point. All right, so we have here uh, this is our C, which is the port. Okay, now so we have C here. Okay, and remember this is the north, this is the south, this is the west and east of our C. Okay, and um, to take to get our B, 150 degree, okay, that's your three digit, three digit bearing. So let's say 150 from here to here, okay, and we'll draw this here, okay. And it says um, A traveled on the north side of B, okay, which is this way. Okay, and we have when A had traveled 8 kilometers and B had traveled 10 kilometers. So B, okay, B 10 kilometers, okay. So this is 10 kilometers. Let's say B is somewhere here. Okay. So this is B. So this is what 10 kilometers. Alright. It says when A had traveled 8 kilometers. Alright, so 8 kilometer. And remember A traveled on the north side of b you know we've interpreted this so north side somewhere here okay i remember here it says uh uh okay a traveled eight kilometer let's just that's mean it means um if this is c from here c to a is what eight kilometer Okay, the distance between the two boats was found to be 12 kilometers. That's the distance between A and B. A and B is the boat, Y, C is the boat. So this is what 12 what, kilometer. Okay, so it means this um, length will be a bit longer than this length. Okay, so we have something here. Let's, let's say we'll stop here. Okay, and uh, A had traveled 8 kilometers. That's 8 kilometers. This is A. 8 kilometer from what C. So let's trace this. Okay, it's going to meet. They're going to meet up here. All right, so we're going to have something like this. All right, so this is your what? This is your north. This is your south. Remember, from here, A traveled on the north side of what B. Okay, so north side. So we've put the, the drawing here, okay? It just said north side of B. It, it didn't say if it was northwest or northeast, okay? But from here, we know that A from C, the, the distance is what, 8 kilometers. So it's quite shorter than this 10 kilometers. So it, it would fall around either direct north or around the northwest, okay? But let's just leave this diagram this way. All right, so we have here 8 kilometer distance from both A, A and both B. We have been told this was 12 kilometer so this is what 12 kilometer okay so we've put in all our details here so um from here to here is what 150 is that not it if from here to here is 150 it means what will be left here um the angle here will be what you know this is a straight line so it means to be 180 minus what 150 we are trying to resolve our angles here that's what we're doing so 180 minus 150 it means that from here to here is what 30 what degrees okay 30 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, it means that from here to here is what 30 watts degrees. Okay. And it also means if this is 30 degrees, all right, it means that this angle here, that's from here to this side is what 60 watt degrees. Okay. So if this is 60 degrees, it means also from here to here is what 60 watt degrees. Remember alternate angles are what equal. All right. Okay. So now we have this, we have this, we have this, okay? Now, for us now to get, uh, uh, okay, what's, what's the question? It says, calculate the bearing of A's 
root from c so calculate the bearing of a's root from what c so the bearing of what a from c that's from here to here that's what is asking us to calculate the bearing of uh, a's root from c that's this angle here that's what we're looking for let's just say it's x we're looking for this angle here so for us to get this angle here we need to know this total angle is that not it we need to know this total angle so if we get the total angle here then we can easily get what this angle in here is from this side to this side which we just call as what y if we know this angle then we can definitely know our final answer which is this from here to here which is the bearing of its root from c okay now from here we have uh let's look at this now we have three sides all right so if we have three sides to find a particular angle is quite easy all right we can apply cosine rule so you can use cosine rule according if you watch the video the cosine rule video which is very key for you to watch please okay you apply um, cosine rule when you have your three sides okay to get what whichever angle you want to so let's say we want to get angle c all right remember um, the side opposite an angle, this is what, this is equal to 12 kilometers is equal to C, this is C, this is equal to, uh, this is, um, this is B, small letter B, then this is what, A, okay, alright, so, uh, what, what is uh, the cosine rule, cosine rule for this, if we're looking for uh, C, is what, C square plus C square is equal to what, A square plus what, B square minus 2AB, cos c okay so where to make a cos c the subject of formula we have here cos c is equal to what a square plus what b square minus c square divided by 2 a b so what do we have here what's our a square a square is what 10 square all right plus what's our b square this is our b square which is what eight kilometer okay minus what is our c square which is what 12 what kilometers okay divided by 2 times what 10 times 8 okay so from here what is 10 square 10 square is what 100 plus what 64 minus 12 squares what 144 divided by divided by 2 times what 10 times what 8 so what do we have here um this is 164 minus 144 divided by 2 times 10 20 times 8 we have what 160 so here we have 164 minus uh, 144 we have what a 20 20 divided by 160 we are going this will cancel out 2 here 1 2 in 16 we have 8 so we have 1 over 8 so what's 1 over 8 1 over 8 is 0 0.125 okay so that's cos c so what is the uh, cos inverse of um, so C is equal to what? The cos inverse of 0 0.125. And this will give us what? 82.819, uh, which you can approximate to what? 82.82, okay, degree. Okay, so this is our angle, 82 point what? 82. So this is 82.82. Alright, so this is now easy since we know now know this angle as 82.82. So to get this um, side, all we need to do is say 82.82 minus 60. Okay, so say 82.82 minus 60. And what will this give us? This will give us what? 22.82. Uh, so it means this angle y is equal to what? 22.82 so now we have to get this angle here to get this angle here you know this from here to here is a right angle triangle is that not it so if from this side is what 22.82 to get this or this um, remaining left uh, left angle this angle left here we have what 90 minus that's 90 degrees minus what 22.82 what, degree so when you subtract this what are we going to have we're going to have what 67 point what 18 what degree so finally here you can approximate this as 7.2 degree so this is our final what answer okay this is the what bearing of what uh of uh, a from c and remember this is a three um three digit um bearing so don't leave your answer this way put a zero in front of 67 okay so you have equal to what 067.2 degree don't forget this 
when you are having your three digit bearing i think did we look for the last one okay the last um the first question we were just um looking for the distance okay if we we're looking for the angle you must make sure you put this because that's the first one is on what compass what bearing so you have to put your north your east the direction okay when if if you were told to look for an angle but this is a three digit bearing so you do what you put your zero in front of it if you just have uh two digits it's a seven you put a zero it has to be what three digits okay you can see here this is 150 degree all right so um, okay we've solved this now let's go to the final question which is the third question okay okay now now this question it says let's try to sketch this again it says an aeroplane flies due north from Ikeja due north from Ikeja airport for 500 kilometer do not do not okay do not that's the direct so we have here do not okay these are not right so an airplane flies like this do not from Ikeja airport this is Ikeja airport okay for 500 what kilometers this five it then flies on a bearing of 60 you can see three digit bearing on a bearing of 60 degrees for a further distance of 300 kilometer that is from this place where it stops okay it flies due north 500 kilometer let's say 500 kilometer stops here okay this point okay from here to here is what 500 kilometer okay it then flies on a bearing of what 60 degree 60 degrees from here that's it will be from here to here it was 60 degrees so let's say we take this angle this way i just put it this way okay i don't want it to come up here okay 60 degree for for a further distance of 300 kilometer so this is what 300 what kilometer i'm still going to draw this down here 300 kilometer okay before overflying a road junction all right you see it then flies on a bearing 60 degrees for a further distance of 300 kilometer before overflying before fl that's overflying flying over a road junction okay let's say the road junction is here okay before it flies 300 kilometer to this road junction before overflying all right calculate a it says the distance of the aeroplane from Ikeja airport when it was directly above the road junction that's it is here at the road junction all right directly above the road junction so uh find the distance from Ikeja airport to this place that's what the question says so let's let's draw this so we have to look for this is x okay that's the first question it now says the bearing of the aeroplane from Ikeja airport at this instant okay let's first of all solve question a then we'll go to question b all right so uh should we repeat the drawing i think we can we can just manage this right let's manage this okay all right but it's just for you to understand understand this all right so here is the road junction don't forget all right okay here is just an uh, the first point where it stops before it it uh, goes to the road junction let us put it first point because it says an airplane flies due north from Ikeja airport for 500 kilometer it then flies take another uh, route it then flies on a bearing from this place where it stops it stops okay flies on a bearing from here to here was 60 what degrees all right that uh, for a further distance of 300 kilometer this is 300 kilometer all right okay please let me draw this here keja we have do not 500 kilometer all right then we have a 60 degree to a road junction okay this is 500 kilometer This is 300 kilometer. This is a 60 degrees. Okay, the bearing flies on a bearing of a 60 watt degree. This line should touch the middle. Okay, the midpoint here. So from here to here is what 60 watt degree. 
all right if from here to here 60 degrees then it means that from here to here will be what 30 degrees just 90 minus what 60 okay so we'll draw this okay to meet here all right and what with that what other thing is a catcher okay on your book you're going to write a catcher airport this is what a road junction okay all right so and this is the first point before it took this bearing to the road junction first point it's it's uh okay all right so it says calculate the distance of the aeroplane from a Keja airport when it was directly above the road junction that's we're calculating distance from a Keja airport to this road junction so x so how do we get this now from here let's resolve our angles all right so this um took um an aeroplane flies due north from Ikeja airport for 500 kilometers so due north it went this way stopped so it means it uh, met this first point that was right a right angle triangle here all right so we have from here to here is what 90 what degree okay because it says due north all right so that's a straight line from the north all right down to um, the first point okay so from here to here is what 90 what degree so it means this whole angle here is what 120 that is what 30 plus what 90 which is 120 what degree so from here now we have two sides and we have what an angle so what rule can we use can we use the sine rule or the cosine rule see this now you have two sides and you have an angle okay so we can use uh let's say let's just try to label this let's say if this is a okay this point here is a okay we'll take this point here as a we'll take this as b and we'll take this as what c okay so we have this uh we're looking for a side what a is that not it we're looking for the side a so this won't be x as we just earlier said we're looking for side a a is equal to unknown all right and we also have the angle a so it's easy for us now to get this since we have two sides all right so we can use the cosine rule all right so and what's the cosine rule from here it says that a square is equal to what b square plus what c square minus 2bc cos a okay so we can look for what uh, what side a okay so from here what do we do we can uh, a square is still unknown our uh, b square what's our b square this is equal to b okay and this is equal to what c this is c all right so we have b square our uh, b square is what 300 what square plus what is c is what 500 square minus what 2 times what 300 times 500 times cos a what is cos a that's cos what 120 degree okay um in bearing all you need to do is know how to resolve quickly resolve your angles you can see how i've been resolving them now uh your bearing always hits on one part of the uh, quadrant okay so if it hits here it's easy for and you you know one particular part is easy for you to know the remaining part of that particular quadrant all right you can see how we resolve this this from the bearing from here to here was 60 the remaining here is what 30 and here it says do not do not that's at a right straight line right angle triangle to meet this first point so here is what 90 what degree and when you add up all this you have 120 you have to know how to resolve your angles in bearings quite key and necessary all right okay so and here um we're using the cosine rule because we have two sides and uh we have an angle that is opposite the unknown what side all right so here to find the side so 300 square what's 300 square that will be what ninety thousand plus 500 square will be 250,000 minus 2 times uh, 2 times 30 times 500. What would that give us? Mm, 2 times 300 times 500 times cos 120. Cos 120 is minus 1 over 2. So this minus sign will affect this uh, minus sign to make it it to become a it to become a positive okay so let's just quickly when you when we multiply all this we're going to have a positive here that's where positive uh, 150 i just want i don't i want to skip this step all right so i don't write again all right so we have 150 150,000 so when we add up all this together we're going to have 490 what thousand 
okay so we have a square is equal to this so to get our a it will be the square root of what four hundred and what ninety thousand and what's the square root of four hundred and ninety thousand that is what seven hundred okay so this is seven hundred kilometers so a is equal to what seven hundred kilometer so we know a as this now so what's the next question the next question says we should calculate the bearing of the aeroplane from a Kedja airport at this instant okay at this instant means where the aeroplane is right now all right and remember from our question it says it then flies on a bearing of 60 degrees for a further distance three, uh, for a further distance of 300 kilometer before over flying a road junction okay so it is here all right the aeroplane is here so we're to calculate now the bearing of the aeroplane from ikeja airport at this what instance where this airplane is so what is the bearing okay of this airplane from ikeja airport and that will be what this angle all right that's the bearing of the aeroplane from ikeja now don't get confused when you, when you say um, like uh, how like when they say a bearing of something from somewhere okay it means now you can see this now the, this is the airplane is here now this angle here is the bearing of what the airplane from ikeja airport now if you want to now get the bearing of ikeja airport from this particular place it is the angle from here to to here okay that's the bearing of what ikeja airport from this road junction all right please follow me closely and please please do um go through the introduction to bearing it will really help you in resolving this that's where I see students getting confused when they say bearing from this uh, from somewhere to somewhere. They, they, I see most students misplacing misplacing that particular statement. Okay, so here it says we should find the bearing of the airplane from Ikeja Airport. So the bearing of this airplane from here, from Ikeja Airport. So it is from you start from your north to where the line it touches the line so this angle here which is what let's call it uh, this is angle b okay this is angle capital letter b is what the bearing of what this airplane from ikeja airport so let us find angle b so we can do this by using this formula which is what b square is equal to what a square plus what c square okay minus 2bc uh, sorry minus 2ac cos b you know here we now know every of the sides is that not it we know every of the sides that's why i'm applying the cosine rule still okay so where our side b what is our side b our side b is what 300 kilometer that's 300 or oh, oh, first of all let's just quickly uh make um cos b the subject of formula so it will be easy for so cos b is equal to what a square plus what c square minus what b square divided by what 2ac so here we have what is a square a square is 700 700 square plus what is c square c square is 500 square minus b square is what 300 what square divided by 2 times what 700 times 5 is that not it so here we have when you have this we have 700 squares what 490 that's 400,000 and 490,000 plus 250,000 then minus 90,000 divided by this times this times this uh, would give us uh, I think 700,000 okay so when you add this up, this plus this minus 90, we're going to have what 650,000 divided by 700,000. And when you divide this, what are we going to have? We're going to have 0 0.92857142 okay, okay, so when you punch in your calculator, you get this value. So we have here our cos B as equal to this. So to get your B now is the word cos inverse of this value 0 0.92857142 and what is the cos inverse of this we're going to have what 21 
0.7867 and here we can approximate to maybe uh mm, to what maybe one decimal place all right so you might uh, approximate it to one decimal place that would be uh from here after a decimal point you count one then the number after this that's uh, eight so eight is greater than five so we can add a one to this seven okay so we're left with what 21 point what's eight and remember this is a three digit bearing you can't leave your answer this way you have your answer as what well, definitely zero to one point eight degrees so this is the what bearing okay of the aeroplane from ikeja airport okay at the aeroplane from this road junction from Ikeja Airport. So we have here 0 to 1.8 degree. So this is our answer. All right. Okay. So thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. As I said earlier, you need to watch the intro to, the, to bearing the sign, uh, sign rule, cosine rule for you to um, understand everything we did in this uh, bearing pass question where we'll solve three bearing pass questions okay so if you find any, anything uh, difficult to understand please drop a comment below and also you can also go back you can you know this is a video you can replay it and um to get a better understanding of this all right and if you need more questions on bearing for me to solve to make you understand more also let me know but i know these three questions would get you ready ready uh, readily prep for your forthcoming exam all right so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video and don't forget the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent give your life to christ for jesus christ is coming soon he's coming all right and he is the way he is the truth and is the life in him is eternal life so please give your life to christ all right and don't forget also uh from us from dcw tutorials you are destined to win in your forthcoming exams in life generally you are destined to win all right uh okay what else okay so please don't also forget to subscribe please uh, to help this channel grow well and also share this video with your friends family and loved ones and give this video a thumbs up thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video and see you in our next video bye